so hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will show you how i created this beautiful effect in 3ds max using type flow custom properties so let's get started so first of all we need a object and by the way i am using a unit centimeters and our one unit is equal to one centimeter so i'm using a knot for our main object for that i am going to extended parameters and going to torus knot so here is our knot i am giving it a radius of 30 centimeters and 9 centimeter okay now I will make another copy of it and uh, I will give it um, 9 cm radius to round uh, as small as possible and going it to create an editable poly select edge and create a loop and create a shape from selection smooth ok I am deleting it, this note so we have a sp line here so now i need a type flow open editor uh, i will add a birth operator so it will end on zero and almost two thousand particles so now I will create a position object operator. I will pick our main terrace. I will hide our main object so we can see our particles. So now I need a shape operator. In shape operator, I use a 3D mesh of sphere materials display to geometry so here's our <coughs> sorry so here is our uh, spheres on our terrace sorry note so now we need a scale to make it uh, bigger uh, I guess uh, 300 or 200 is okay yeah 200 is okay so now you can see it's uh, not much so i will give it a 10000 yeah 10000 is looking nice to me so now i will add a object bind operator so it will be on the it will be attached on our object so for that i'll pick my note or any object you want and I will decrease its friction stickiness friction to 25 or 0 or I guess 20 so it will not uh, fly over from our object it will stay on the object so now I need a particle physics particle physics as you can see it's are more colliding and reacting to each other so uh, let's uh, uh, hide this uh, ob object bind operator and you can see it's flyover so that's why I need a object bind operator uh, let's move it down sorry I have to select a log to surface here so it will be on the surface not on each other okay now it's look uh, much nicer and i think uh, 10,000 is uh, very much so i will decrease it to 8,000 yeah it's okay now so now i need a i need it to fly over and change in the size of some particles so for that I need a uh, QRS. 
I will go to hide our main object and our particles to go to I will select our torus and uh, going to animation constraints path constraints and select our SP line and I will click on the follow and I dial I'll move it a bit rotate sorry so now I need to decrease its uh, radius okay now it's good so now I'll hide it I'm going to type flop editor I will reassemble it so now I need a surface test operator and I will select our terrace and distance will be around 10 centimeter I guess we will check it if it need more I will add another scale operator but in even 2 ok now you can see we are having pretty much so we need to increase its size to absolute and around uh, for first we are using 200 centimeter for this I guess 500 is ok or 400 or I guess 500 so now you can see it's uh, flying for and uh, flying because it's not uh, binding to our objects now in second event and it's not the particle physics is not applied in second event so for that I will deselect process only event in particle physics okay but uh, we don't have this for our uh, object bind for that I will add a object bind uh, or I will copy this by shift clicking or uh, right click and copy uh, or and paste in the second event so now it's more good to and don't fly over so now for this I will change its timing to continuous and for the interpolation values to 0.1 so you, their sizes will increase uh, slowly so now we need another particle physics and I will uh, copy this by shift click sorry by shift clicking and I will add in the second event So here is another other option. I need a surface test. Same surface test in the second event too. And but this time I am using greater than 10 centimeter before I am using less than 10 centimeter. So for that we have this and uh, I need a display so now let's change its size to something red more visible now you can see it's uh, changing their size so now we want when our size increase or uh, our scale of the spheres increases it will decrease later on when we are moving forward it so for that I am using uh, custom properties um, on after scale in event 1 set value say value to channel I'm using uh, custom float uh, scale magnitude and I will use uh, my s my scale okay 
now I am going to select uh, our uh, scale uh, custom objects properties and I will make another copy of it in our event 3 but this time I am gonna select get load value from the chance this channel I am using the same scale magnitude our same channel so now you can see when our we are going forward our sphere scales are going to the same as in event 1 so for that we want it to scale in slowly so for that I am using interpolation to minus 2 as I did it for our scale in radius and for this one I am also using continuous so now you can see it's beautiful okay now I'm using the same object mind operator in event 3 I guess uh, more less particles So I will increase my scale to around 700 because 500 seems uh, very small to me. So it's look good to me now. So how how I change the color? You can see how much the size grows. It's uh, going to more darker red color, and how size decreases to its original, it's going to be white again. So for that, first of all, I uh, created two materials for it: multi material, one for white, and one is our gradient color. Okay, so in the start I created a white color and after some 26 or 30 points I have created the red color after that add all red and add the end is black. So I am selecting our uh, multi object color and I will select our type flow and assign this material to our type flow. So now you can see it's all white. So how I change this color? For that, uh, I will use a material ID to static and uh, one, and I'll copy and uh, paste another second event, and I will create this to material two. Now you can see we are getting our red color and white with the gradient we have created. I have to create it more like uh, that video effect. So for that I need an uh, other custom properties right after scale and I will rename it to color or material whatever you want set value scale magnitude let's change its name to my m for m for material custom color copy again i'll copy it and paste it in our second event and i will change it name to one uh, i am using now mapping here and uh, I will select our uh, mapping from custom float and I will change it to my M1. Okay, and uh, I'll change its values to minimum 0, maximum 30, which I have created for my video. Okay. So for changing our color to the red, I am going to select our uh, cust color custom properties to continuous. After continuous, uh, I am giving its uh, name to my M1 one, and I will add a mapping 
and in mapping I am using a custom float my m1 okay continuous so now you can see it's changing colors but it's not going back to the white so for that thing we have to use another mapping and paste in 31 and but this time I'm using our channel from the first event my m1 custom properties for the third event for that I am creating another custom properties giving name to my m2 mapping and change its uh, to my m2 and color properties timing to continuous so now it, you can see it's where it's increases size to 5 700 which I, we selected is fully red and where it's decreasing it's uh, going to white again so now you can see it's not colliding with each other uh, really good so for that I did a mistake in uh, particle physics I have to select collision radius to shape radius okay uh, in 31 to sorry yes and uh, I guess uh, I need it into the thirty one to okay now it's good okay this is how I created this beautiful effect and the third material you have seen in my material editors I am using it for our background and for our main node or any objects So I hope you like this tutorial, please subscribe my youtube channel for more beautiful tutorials like this.